all very rural, um, and uh, I suppose Nether Kenny being the biggest town population wise, uh, we're not that far from it, so we're lucky to be um, still have a country lifestyle. Years ago, the, the smaller villages would have had, they would have been self sufficient in a way, like the, the, the um, they would have had their drapery shop and butcher, you name it, like, you know. Uh, not right seen it, I suppose, but a lot of people think that it's a museum other than a shop, like, you know. They, they come in to, to browse and just look, uh, look at the pieces. And, but I mean, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So it, so it gives me an interest and I'm happy enough to see them coming in. As long as they're coming through the door, that's the way I want. I, I would work from the point of view that if I see something that I haven't actually got in the shop, and say that would look well in one of those shelves up there type of thing, like, you know, I mean, that's the way I would buy pieces from that, you know, from that instinct, like, you know. The, the longer, you're, longer you're involved in the trade, the more of an idea you pick up on what is, what is old and what's not old, like, you know. If you have a, an interest in certain items, like I, my, my big interest would be old postcards, like, of, of uh, Specifically of, of Rathmullen and the Swilly and uh, the surrounding area, like, you know. I actually worked in, in the catering business all my life, like, you know, but I bought this premises in 1977 and um, had other ideas for it at the time. I was going to, original idea was that I was going to open a restaurant, uh, which in later years, I decided against and went to auctions, so on, and started to accumulate and hoard, and um, came to a stage where I had to start selling to make room for other stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a compulsion with me because I, I can walk away from it. it, it uh, although it, it um, gives me an interest in the stage of me. My life was the one I'd say, you know. days one week and three and a half days the next week. So I do Glenties, Dunlow, Guidor and uh, Ramelton one week. And the next week I would do Dunlow, Fokara and Mulford. Oh it's unique guy as far as I know I'm the only one in Ireland. Well I was living in Mul I live in Mulford and my parents, they were living in the low. So I used to go down and visit them and I noticed all the towns that I was passing through, there was no barber shops. So I thought uh, starting up and uh, maybe get a room in each town, but then I thought I'd be getting a caravan and eventually I got on the road with a, an ex-mobile bank. And uh, that was 20 years ago, so still here. No long hairstyles. As I say, I was I was trained to be a barber, um, and back in the sixties, just after I finished my training, the the long hair came into vogue. <laughs> if they want long hairstyles, they can go to the ladies. You need the washing facilities really to to deal with long hair, and I don't I don't have the washing facilities. I left the barber a few times, did different work. At the end of the day, if you can cut hair, you can cut hair. Sometimes uh, people want wee designs in their head, but you, as long as they can explain it to me, I don't care. There was one boy come in one time to me, a young fellow. He had a photograph of David Beckham, and he asked me, could I do that? I said, I could, right. 
I said, as long as you explain what you want done. And so he, he explained the, the hairdo he wanted, so I, I done it, and oh, I thought it was great. And I said, how much is that? I said, that's 300 euro. <laughs> what? I said, you don't think David Beckham paid 8 euro for that day? <laughs> so. The last job I was in, I was working in a factory, and a lot of my ex-colleagues was saying to me, ah, it's good to be working for yourself. But there'll be days there when you're not feeling top-notch and you feel like taking a day off. You can't just sign on or you can't throw on a sick line. <laughs> you just have to keep going. So it's got its advantages and disadvantages. And you're never your own boss. You just can't say, right, I'm going to take the day off because you're letting customers down, so you have to be there. Yeah, yeah.